What is going on my digital escape? I hope you guys are doing well this week. I hope you're having an awesome day. I actually had an awesome day today because I was able to go- Mocus, you're so distracted. <laughs> so distracting right now, aren't you? She's just a big ball of purr right now. You love me, don't you? Mm. <laughs> Alright, you have to get down because I have to film video. Thank you very much. I went out and penny boarded for the first time this year. I haven't penny boarded since um, October, I think. So I've been so freaking deprived. And I went out and I got soaked because there's a lot of puddles since the snow is melting. Finally, and it was four fucking degrees. And so that was really warm and I was sweating and it was awesome. So <laughs> yeah, but I had a lot of fun. It was, it was a good day. So I hope you guys are doing well today as well. And learn how to English, Jaden. English. So this week, as you guys already know, is advice week and I feel the number one thing that most of you ask me about for advice for is getting bullied and oh my god, like I could definitely relate to this kind of crap and I feel like maybe I could help you guys out a little bit because I'm so passionate about just sharing my experiences with you and trying to help you through things that you're going through because everyone is struggling with something and unfortunately the majority of us deal with bullying which is I don't understand it, but it's it plays a role in our life. So this is going to be a semi-serious video or just a really completely serious video, which is very rare because I know that you guys aren't used to that. I'm very much a crazy Jaden Whale and me being serious is just kind of like, are you okay? So, but I can't be a serious person. I really can. So like a lot of you, I have been bullied. And it's pretty fucking sad that so many people can relate these days. It's like the human race is out to fucking destroy itself or something. I don't know man, I've just always been kind of an outcast. I'm the kid who befriended the weird kids at school because I just felt I could relate to them more and they were just easier to get along with. Because I'm a weird kid too. I've always been a weird kid. I mean, you guys know that, but I really have. And I just never had a big group of friends. But man, I've been bullied since I was like a little freaking kid. I remember in kindergarten, this kid would literally chase me around with scissors. Like fucking scissors. Like why are you trying to cut me? You are five. And I remember getting picked on so bad in the third grade that I would literally get pushed to the ground and these kids would kick me. Why? I don't know. You know how you're supposed to have a teacher wandering around at recess making sure kids aren't beating the shit out of each other? Yeah, I don't know where the fuck she was. And it sucks so bad because it just, it never really stopped. And I feel I became an easy target because I was like too nice or something. Now you know our world is a sad place when being too nice gets you kicked in the face, but apparently that's just how it is. Like I'm Jaden, the kid who caused harm to nobody and apparently that made me an easy target. Like even in high school, fucking bully. That's probably the worst bullying anyone's ever gonna get. Kids wanted to fight me. No idea why. I got called so many names and just shouted at down the hall. Like, what the fuck is everyone's problem? And honestly, I think some people are just so sad and angry and they just don't know a way to express these feelings, so they take it out on other people. Like, everyone is struggling with something. Even bullies, they're struggling. And they handle it in the way of hurting others because they're hurting. Or some people are just straight up fucking jerks. If you're classified as different, whether it's the way you act, the way you dress, the way you style your hair, you've probably been picked on. Me. And it's honestly so fucking stupid because we are all different. I don't understand why some individuals think the world should be a certain way or that people should be a certain way. Being different is awesome, man. We are all different and that is amazing. Like given the fact that there's billions of people in the world and we are all individually unique, I don't understand why anyone would want it any other way. But back to the school thing, my attendance was complete shit. I missed so many classes. I was pretty much failing everything because I just dreaded school and just dreaded being around these people. I was like on the verge of suicide. I was so fucking depressed. I was like a war to get me out of the house and go to school in the morning. I don't know how many times my mom would scream at me to get out of bed, but I just, I couldn't bring myself to do it some days. I really couldn't. I'd avoid certain hallways. I'd avoid being alone for too long. And honestly, if my best friend wasn't at school that day, neither was I. So I, I really know what it's like. Now let me tell you, the number one thing that I really wish I had done sooner was tell someone. If you're being bullied, tell a teacher or tell the principal. I didn't because I was so petrified that telling someone would make it worse. Because in my mind, getting these people in trouble meant that they were going to come at me even more. 
But the best decision I ever made was telling an authority figure. Like it's their job to make sure you're not bullied or that it stops and that you actually feel safe in an environment with a bunch of fucking moody teenagers. So please tell someone, please just tell someone because it will stop. And let me tell you something that I've learned. After school is finished, there's a 95% chance you won't ever have to deal with these people's shit anymore. I say 95% because I leave that 5% for the day that you run into them in a fucking store and they don't say anything because reality punched them in the fucking mouth. I haven't seen or heard from anybody who has bullied me. But I have actually had a couple of them try and contact me wanting to be biffles and fuck that man. Like they realize that I'm actually going somewhere in life and they're just stuck being an asshole. But listen, things will change. They honestly will. Like, look how much things have changed since you were a kid. That's honestly how much things are going to continue to change. You're not stuck and you won't always have to deal with this shit. And whatever you do, don't take what these people say to heart. They don't know you. The only things that you should take to heart are the things your friends say and the people who love you. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I know it's easier said than done, but honestly, fucking block these people out. I mean, it'd be so much easier if we could block people in real life like we do on the internet, but just don't pay any fucking attention. Please stay strong and don't take bullying lightly. If someone's bothering you, fucking tell someone. I so wish I would have done that sooner. I probably actually would have passed some classes. Like I've always mentioned, just the fact that YouTube has honestly saved me and just being able to express myself and not have people judge me. I mean, the internet is shit as it is, I know, because people fucking come and they say crap to me, but I'm so immune to it now because I've gotten it so much and that sounds bad, but honestly, it, I don't take that shit to heart anymore. If you want to be a fucking dick, be a dick, but it only looks bad on your part because you ain't affecting me anymore, bitch. But honestly, YouTube has saved my life. It just, it's given me an outlet. Like, all these YouTubers and stuff, like, when I was growing up, I didn't, I didn't have that, and I'm so glad that... Nowadays, like, there's so many YouTubers spreading so much positivity and the fact that we can sit here and just share our experiences and just say, hey, everything is gonna be okay. And I wish I had that, but for me, making videos was my outlet. And I'm so sorry some of you guys are dealing with bullying and there's... Uh, I wish that it could stop. It, it honestly feels like the human race is just trying to fucking destroy itself or something because why are we so mean to each other? It's like everyone hates everyone. Everyone's jealous of everyone and everyone's just putting everyone down. Why? I don't get it. And like I was saying about the block thing, if someone's bothering you online, honestly, just block them. You don't need their negativity. You don't need their shit. They're just fucking trolls and just let them go be fucking lonely. Like. If you are someone who feels the need to, like, take your pain out on other people and make them feel bad, you really need to find a healthier outlet. There's so many things you can do and there's so many ways to express yourself in a healthier way. But I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. I know this has been such a serious video and I didn't really expect to do something like that. I thought I could make some kind of joke about... Oh, here's want some advice on how to change your socks or something. Like, I don't know. I just, I just feel like bullying is just a really serious topic and it's, it's definitely something that I've gone through and I feel like I can give advice on because honestly, you just really, you really gotta just talk to someone and make it stop. You don't have to put up with it. You really don't. There are, like bullying is just not fucking tolerated, especially when someone has a say over it. Like when someone has authority, it's not fucking tolerated. So you may as well use that to your advantage and just make these people stop. Like, I don't understand the world. I don't understand why there's so much fucking hatred, but it doesn't belong in our society. And I wish it wasn't here because why can't we just all love each other, be there for each other and support each other? I don't get it. Why are we such a hate? We're such a hateful race and I don't understand. But anyways, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry for my long ass ramble, but I do care about you guys so much. And I just want you to let you know that I'm here and the rest of My Digital Escape is here. And all the rest of the My Digital Escape family in the comments, we're all here for you as well. And so just leave comments. If you need support from people, this is the place to be. But on a lighter note, I am doing another giveaway on my piñata account, so all you gotta do is go to my piñata, follow me, and spam my most recent post, and I'm gonna be going through and picking a couple people to win a Hot Topic gift card, so if you wanna be one of those lucky winners, come bug me, and 
yeah, we can all be smiles and stuff. So I love you guys so much. Please stay strong, stay positive. I know it gets hard sometimes, but honestly, things in life are never permanent. Like time keeps moving forward. Things are always going to continue to change. So just keep your chin up, okay? Just keep smiling and just know that I love you and I will always be here. I'll always be making videos, whether they're crazy or whether they're serious like this. I know it's weird, it's weird. J Whale, why are you in serious mode? But yeah, I just felt like I wanted to talk about that kind of stuff. So I love you. Stay strong, stay beautiful, and I will see your beautiful face next Wednesday. Alright, take care. Peace.